Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Peak University. My name is Nick Hopwood. And I'm Jim Pilot. And at Peak Wealth Management, our goal is to help you retire with confidence. And today on, on Peak University, we're talking about the largest three weeks of gains ever in the history of the markets. Subtitle, the best 15-day returns have, have led to continued strong returns. So this chart looks at... Uh, the the biggest gains of 15 days and jim what stands out to you yeah some of the things that stand out to me the first thing is that it's it's remarkable that we're talking about this right because the last couple peak university university videos we did we talked about how quickly it had fallen uh so now we're talking about how quick it has recovered uh but one of the the years that stands out right off the bat is um after the six month period we'll see the one negative year is 2002 that's in August of 2002. We see that after six months, the market was still down. But if you go up just a couple lines from there um, on this graph, you'll see uh, in October of 2002, uh, we had another another um, rebound where we're now positive. So 2002 in August stands out to me as a bull market uh, bounce at that point without the real um, reversal taking place yet. We haven't really hit the true bottom yet until October of 2002. Yeah, definitely that was a bear market bounce and the real low was in October of 2002. And this time around, we just don't know if we're seeing a bear market bounce right now or if this is gonna lead to continued strong returns. But one thing that jumped out to me was that if you look at this, that second column, the 15 day percentage change, this time around it's 27.2%. And there's nothing that comes even close. You know, 2009 was 22%, but all the others are virtually less than half. So this one was dramatically faster than any other time in history. And as you mentioned, the, the decline preceding these 15 days was the fastest in history as well. So we've seen a big correlation between the quickness of the drop and the quickness of the recovery. And we talked about that in one of our other videos that you can see on YouTube. Um, Jim, what about what 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 else in the chart jumps out at you that's worth noticing? Yeah, the other thing, uh, you know, we noticed that the big 15 day percent changes. But if you go to the, the column right next to it, the one month, we see that there's still some red numbers. And that just implies that there's still volatility in the short term uh, after ever have after having some pretty significant up days. Um, and we could even go over one column further than that, the three month. And we still see, you know, 40% of the time, there's still some some red days, right? Some down days, uh, which again, is just implying maybe volatility is not necessarily behind us. Uh, but if you look over to the six and the 12 month returns, you see that they're uh, significantly uh, higher across the board. So, um, you know, probably more of a typical bottoming pattern where we don't just hit the bottom and necessarily fly off from there. Uh, it wouldn't be uncommon at all to see some some pullbacks and some retest in the short term, uh, but you know, taking the longer term uh, view, it, it looks uh, much more positive. Yeah, 12 months out, 100% of the time in the past, the market's been positive. And looking six months out, 90% of the time, it's been positive. And we're talking double digits, percentage returns in each case. So that definitely is a positive uh, takeaway here. Although, we still look at that 2002 and think, hey, this could be a, a bear market rally and we could still be seeing you know, a double bottom pattern that could evolve. And we talked about that in one of our other videos as well. Anything else to add, Jim, when looking at this chart? You know, the only thing I'll say is even if that does turn out to be the case and that this is just a bear market bounce, uh, we go over to the 12 month column and we see even after that, that kind of that bear market bounce, we're still up uh, over that one year's period. So I think that, again, keeping time horizon in perspective, um, it's always positive when we go further out. Well, I think that'll do it for us today on Peak University. Uh, please like the video. Please share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And remember, for the last 20 years, We've been seeing you to and through retirement. Uh, and if you'd like a second opinion with what you're doing with your portfolio and your financial plan, please visit us at peakwm.com.